sick of winter. Motherfucker. <laughs> Go to the garage. We're back over at the garage again with Goldie Hawn, and I wish we were going to be doing something fun, but unfortunately, she's a little hurt. I've been getting two codes recently. One is a lean condition, and the other is a misfire. I'm not sure if the misfire is related to the lean condition or not. So I'm gonna tear the truck apart today and try and figure that out. Intake gaskets, new, are about 60 bucks for the set, but I, right over there, I have a spare 5.3 that I was going to put in the black truck that I used to have, if you remember way back. I had this black 93 Silverado. And uh, I was going to put that motor in it, sold the truck, kept the motor, and uh, now I'm stealing some parts off of it. This is the intake. It's a, uh, it's a 2005 intake, so it doesn't have the EGR or anything, and it does have the gaskets on it. So depending on if things match up, because I haven't looked into it at all, but if things match up enough, I think I'm just going to swap that intake completely on the truck since it does have the EGR deleted. So hopefully once I get that swapped on, that'll cure the lean condition. Fingers crossed that also cures the misfire. So let's get to work. All right, we're about 20, 25 minutes in. Got this side all disconnected, all the injectors, all the wiring, everything. Got just the number seven injector left to go. And then uh, fuel lines, vacuum lines, and then it's ready to come off. So far, it really hasn't been that difficult. The most stressful part has been trying to disconnect almost 20 year old plugs without breaking them. and. Uh, it's just time consuming really, it's not difficult, but I'm going to get back to it. It's kind of hard to get good shots of this tedious little stuff, so I'll turn the camera back on when the intake's ready to come off. So here's the intake off the truck, and here's the one from the 2005 motor. They look pretty much identical aside from the EGR 
uh, relief. This one's blocked off from the factory. The only other difference I really notice is the older fuel rail is a little bit bigger diameter. I don't think that'll make a difference. Uh, the map sensors are in opposite directions, but should be able to just flip that around. Aside from that, they look pretty much the same. The newer one being drive-by-wire doesn't have all three bolt reliefs, but it has one for the throttle cable bracket, which should be plenty. And the intake gaskets actually look fine. We suspect that it was just the front few bolts were a little loose, not really sure. Probably just start throwing this one back on the truck, hopefully get it back together tonight and then fire it up and see if it makes a difference. two codes recently one is uh i don't know what to do with my fucking hands see ya